Jordan Chiles thought she had clinched an Olympic bronze in the floor exercise, only to have it ripped away due to a controversial ruling. Fans and teammates are furious, and social media is on fire with outrage. How did this all go so wrong for an athlete who gave it her all? Let's find out. Jordan Childs, um, what led to the IOC decision that Jordan Childs would have to give back her bronze medal? The drama began right after Jordan Childs completed her floor exercise routine at the 2024 Paris Olympics. Her performance was solid, but when the scores were posted, it looked like she had just missed out on a podium finish, placing fifth. That's when her coaches, Cecile and Laurent Landy, decided to take a gamble. They filed an inquiry. Now, in gymnastics, an inquiry is basically a request for the judges to take another look at a specific part of a routine, usually something the coaches believe was scored too harshly. In this case, they questioned a deduction on one of Chile's split leaps, a move called the Tour de Jeté Full. The Landis felt that the execution was better than what the judges initially credited her for. To everyone's surprise, the inquiry worked. The judges agreed to review the move, and after a second look, they decided to add one-tenth of a point to Chilis's score. That tiny bump was just enough to push her into third place, earning her the bronze medal. For Chilis, who had worked so hard to get to this point, it was a dream come true. She stood on the podium, emotional and proud, holding a medal she believed was rightfully hers. And Sunday, the International Olympics Committee confirmed it would reallocate the bronze medal but then, just as quickly as her joy had come, it was snatched away. The Romanian Gymnastics Federation, clearly unhappy with the result, filed an appeal with the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CUEAS. They argued that the inquiry submitted by Chile's coaches had been filed four seconds after the one-minute deadline. And here's where things get really heartbreaking, Cass agreed. They ruled that because the inquiry was technically late, it never should have been accepted in the first place. The score adjustment that had boosted Chile's to bronze was invalid, and her final score should have remained at 13.666, placing her fifth just off the podium. Coaches, the judges determining she should be awarded an extra 10, enough to push her from fifth place to third. The International Gymnastics Federation, FIG, the body that oversees gymnastics worldwide quickly confirmed the CAS decision. They reinstated Chilis's original score and moved Romania's Anna Barbosu, who had originally been in fourth place with a score of 13.7, back into the bronze medal position. It was a stunning reversal that left everyone reeling, especially Jordan Chiles, who now faces the very real possibility of having to return her Olympic bronze medal. Jordan Child's journey at the Paris Olympics was a roller coaster of emotions, and it's hard not to feel for her. When she first realized that her inquiry had been successful and she'd actually earned the bronze medal, it must have been pure joy. Imagine the pride she felt standing on that podium, knowing she'd made it onto the Olympic stage, not just as part of a team, but as an individual competitor. After all the hard work, sacrifices, and dedication, that bronze medal was a tangible reward, proof that she belonged among the world's best. But that joy was short-lived. The Court of Arbitration for Sports Ruling, which stripped her of the medal due to a technicality, hit like a ton of bricks. One moment, she was basking in the glory of her accomplishment. The next, it was taken away, leaving her to grapple with a wave of disappointment and heartbreak. It's tough to imagine what that must have felt like to go from such a high to such a low in a matter of days. For Chelas, who had already experienced the ups and downs of elite gymnastics, this must have been one of the most crushing moments of her career. As if that wasn't enough, the situation took an even darker turn on social media. Almost immediately after the ruling, Chilis found herself at the center of a storm of criticism. Some people took to social media to accuse her of stealing the medal from Romania's Ana Barbosu, as if Chiles herself had orchestrated the entire situation. The comments were harsh, hurtful, and quite frankly, unfair. It's important to remember that athletes like Chiles pour their hearts into their sport, 
and to be targeted like this, especially when the decision was out of her hands, was nothing short of cruel. The pressure and negativity became so overwhelming that Chiles decided to step away from social media altogether, taking a break for the sake of her mental health. She even posted a message saying she was removing herself from social media to focus on her well-being, which speaks volumes about just how tough things had become. But in the midst of all this chaos, Chiles wasn't alone. Her teammates, especially Sunisa Lee and Simone Biles, were quick to rally around her. They weren't just teammates, they were friends who understood the pressures and challenges of competing at the highest level. Sunisa Lee took to Instagram to express her disgust with the ruling, calling it completely unacceptable and saying she was gutted for Jordan. Simone Biles, who has trained with Chili's for years, sent her love and support, urging her to keep her chin up and reminding her that she was still an Olympic champion in their eyes. This kind of support meant the world to Chiles, showing her that, despite the unfairness of the situation, she wasn't alone in facing it. The ripple effects of Jordan Chile's heartbreaking situation extended far beyond her own emotional turmoil, sparking a significant reaction from Romania and igniting a broader debate about the fairness in gymnastics. In Romania, the fallout was intense. Ana Barbosu, who initially believed she had won the bronze medal, was understandably crushed when the score adjustment briefly pushed her off the podium. You can imagine the emotional roller coaster she must have gone through, celebrating what she thought was her Olympic moment, only to have it taken away and then reinstated days later. The whole situation was a mess. Former Romanian gymnast and Olympic legend Nadia Comaneci didn't hold back her criticism either. She was vocal on social media, expressing her disbelief over how the judges and officials handled the situation. For someone like Komaneci, who knows the pressures of Olympic competition firsthand, her words carried a lot of weight. She questioned how the sport could allow such emotional upheaval for the athletes, emphasizing the need for a system that protects competitors from this kind of mental strain. The political impact in Romania was also notable. The Romanian Prime Minister, Marcel Ciolacu, even decided to skip the closing ceremony of the Paris Games as a form of protest against the judging decision. This was a bold statement, showing just how deeply the issue resonated in Romania. It wasn't just about gymnastics anymore, it had become a national matter, with emotions running high, not only for the athletes involved, but for the country as a whole. This incident has reignited a long-standing debate over the fairness of the scoring and appeal processes in gymnastics. Gymnastics has always been a sport where subjective judging can play a significant role, but when those decisions impact something as monumental as an Olympic medal, it raises serious concerns. Athletes dedicate their lives to these few moments on the world stage, and when those moments are clouded by controversy, it can undermine the integrity of the sport. People are now questioning whether the appeal process, with its strict timing rules and potential for human error, is truly fair to the athletes. It's not just about winning or losing anymore. It's about whether the system itself is just, and how these situations affect the mental health of the athletes who are caught in the crossfire. Looking ahead, it's clear that Jordan Chilas faces a challenging road. Emotionally, this incident is bound to leave a mark. She's already had to navigate the highs and lows of Olympic competition, and now, dealing with the disappointment of having her medal taken away adds another layer of complexity. The mental and emotional toll could be significant, and it's something she'll have to work through as she moves forward in her career. There's no doubt that this experience will shape her, both as an athlete and as a person. Professionally, Chiles will need to decide how to approach the rest of her gymnastics career after this setback. Will she return to training with the same intensity, or will this experience cause her to rethink her future in the sport? The decision to appeal the CAS ruling might be on the table, but realistically, the options are limited. CAS rulings are notoriously difficult to overturn, and any appeal would likely be heard by the Swiss Federal Tribunal which only considers cases on very specific grounds. 
In other words, the chances of reversing the decision are slim, and Chilis and her team might have to come to terms with that reality. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.